Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we've got a bunch of new news, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got a range of items to talk about in today's video. One thing is including when shooting starts and how soon it is. The other thing is to do a Comic Con and what we will see in that trailer. And the last thing is... We've got the official release date of the Supergirl Season 4 DVD and Blu-ray and we've got some details as to what will be showing up on the special features which is of great interest to most of you guys, I can guarantee it. Okay, so let's first off start talking about when Supergirl starts filming because I think this is very important because it's coming back really early, like they've already been back, the writers are back. Everyone behind the scenes is all prepping because even the Flash team and the people behind Arrow, they're all back right now, the production team, the writers, they're all back after the hiatus because they've got a few weeks, like about three to four weeks, I think, before they start shooting at the start of July. But Team Supergirl, the people behind the scenes and obviously the actors, they are back and they have been back for a little while now because... They are shooting on the 27th of June. That is their official first day of shooting. So that's two weeks from today. That is nuts. Two weeks from today, they're back to filming. And so obviously the hiatus will be done and they'll be back on the 27th of June. And we should expect some set photos to be released because, you know, Supergirl does shoot a lot of its scenes out in the public. And that is where we get people like Canada Grass. We get people like YVR Shoots. They're Mascara Bound. They all are out there sort of looking and they get notices when you're when you live in Vancouver they're all around and I think they actually send it through your post box or your letterbox so yeah they will be there and I'm sure they're going to do some outside scenes so we can start expecting some behind the scenes photos some potential leaks for Supergirl season 5 as it starts filming episode 1 and this year it's actually shooting episode 1 and they're doing it chronologically because last year what happened was Melissa was actually on Broadway and so she wasn't able to shoot for the first few weeks and by the time of Comic Con she hadn't even shot anything because when Comic Con arrived she was still in New York performing doing Beautiful on Broadway and so she didn't get time to do that and they started shooting episode 4 then they went 3, 2, 1 I believe and then they went back to 6 so that is why there was an absence of Melissa in episode 4 and 3, I do believe, and she's in the suit and she was able to get a stunt double to do most of the scenes outside. She had the sort of Power Rangers suit. So that was a way to get around that. This year, we don't have any of those problems. But the thing is, I'm fine with that, what they did last year. Although I didn't particularly like the first few episodes that much, I'm fine with it because I went to New York and saw her and that was nuts and that was the best experience ever. So... I'm totally fine with that so no problems in terms of scheduling this year but as in regards to San Diego Comic Con 2019 this is where we will be getting the trailer the first trailer for season 5 they do this every year and they did it last year even with Melissa showing up but she hadn't have shot anything but there was a few different shots in the trailer last year at Comic Con which sort of showcased the new footage but there wasn't that much new footage it was quite a lot of just stunt double work and some scenes from season three as well so what to expect so san diego comic con is coming it's between july 18th and 21st and this year i will actually be at the panel i will be there i will be seeing them actually talk about it live i am putting in requests to try and film the panel and upload it on my channel so stay up to date with me i will be announcing i guess via twitter or youtube in various videos saying yeah, I will probably be recording this, so I need to get permissions to record first, and then I will let you guys know. But yeah, I will be there. It's either on the 18th, 19th, 20th, or 21st. I do believe they actually do it, you know, 20th or 21st, because it's later in the con where they have the panel. And so I will be making videos, obviously, from my hotel, so I'll do my best. I will bring my equipment. I'll bring a really good mic that is sort of good enough to contain this quality and obviously I had this really cool idea if I'm there if I record myself and like record my reaction when the trailer's playing because you know we'll be the first people in the world to see it 
and then edit the video because they post the trailer just after the panel finishes. I think that would be a really cool idea for a reaction video if I'm allowed to do that. So what do you think of that? Let me know. But yeah, so either on the 20th or 21st normally, so the panel's on, we get the trailer, and it's only a few weeks after they first start shooting. Obviously, they're shooting a bit earlier this year, about a week earlier or so. So they'll have more footage. Maybe they might get on to episode two, but for the most part, it will be episode one that we'll be seeing footage from. And so what to expect from this trailer? So if you go back and look at all the Comic-Con trailers, there wasn't one for season two because of the change from CBS to the CW. But apart from that, every year on all the CW shows we get a Comic-Con trailer and what they tend to tease, and if we look back at the season three trailer, you get to see the main villain for episode one, they always tease that, and sort of the mindset that Kara's in, the mindset that a lot of these different characters are in. Obviously season four was as well an exception because there was no Melissa footage and it was more about Agent Liberty and the threat that was going to be coming. So with Melissa actually being on set and shooting, I reckon it will be having a focus on Kara and sort of her projection that she's going to be going on in this season. And we'll see maybe the first villain and then we'll obviously get some teasers for what's to come. And, you know, they ended the season with Malafeyuk showing up, that being Sean's brother. So maybe we might get some stuff, some glimpses of him, because he's going to be, I believe, the villain for the first half, because he was brought in by the Monitor, and obviously Crisis is at the mid-season, so I don't expect him to carry on past the mid-season. And obviously Leviathan, maybe they may include some of that, but I reckon that'll be sort of the main overarching villain, sort of going into the back half and I think Malafeyuk will be first. So maybe we get some Eve action in the trailer. We get what's to come with Kara, definitely. And don't expect too much new footage. Like I said, it's all episode one. It's not gonna be anything too spoilery, but it will give us a rough guideline for what's going to be happening next season. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the Supergirl season four DVD and Blu-ray release. So they have officially announced it's going to be coming out on the 17th of September. Be sure to stick around, obviously turn on notifications and watch my Supergirl videos over the summer because when we get to there, we're gonna be giving away some Supergirl copies of the DVD or Blu-ray as we do every year. If you came last year, you know we were giving away some of that and some of the Flash last year. So I do that every year. So check out the videos as per usual. So they announced that the 17th, obviously The Flash, I think it's coming out in August, just, you know, a few weeks before they do that every year. And so the DVD and Blu-ray will actually contain deleted scenes, a crossover featurette, but as well as that, we're going to get obviously the Comic-Con panel as they include every year. But the big thing is there is a gag reel. We had a brilliant one last season. It was so fun, it was so great. And I remember everyone sort of freaking out over it and I really, really liked it. And that was a big thing. Like if you go back and watch the Supergirl season two DVD, they don't actually have a gag reel. And obviously we've seen glimpses from behind the scenes that there was definitely enough footage, but that was a big sort of controversy at the time. And when the season three DVD came out, we were all so happy that there was a gag reel and all these deleted scenes there were some really good deleted scenes last year, like there were some Sambas ones, there were some Caramel ones, some one l ones, there were some just normal Cara ones, just some ones that really were interesting and I made some videos on them, they were really good, I really liked them, so I'm looking forward to some deleted scenes, not sure what they could be, just different concepts that maybe weren't used or just different cuts of a scene or completely new that just were extra and didn't make complete sense but we do normally get some very good scenes so i'm especially excited for the gag reel i think that is the big news in terms of the dvd release and also obviously the date september 17th so yeah super super looking forward to that so let me know in the comments down below are you excited for the dvd release on september 17th and are you going to stick around on the channel for the giveaways or are you just going to buy it yourself let me know in the comments down below but also one last thing, 
I'm going to San Diego Comic Con. I've currently got my GoFundMe page open right now. We've hit £500 worth of donations. I can't thank you guys enough. I've sent you all messages and this is going to be one of the last times, but I'm going to be closing the GoFundMe page sometime later this week, either on the Sunday or heading into next week, depending on what's happening, because obviously I need to start booking stuff. So I want to say a massive thank you to all who have contributed and helped me. It really means the world to me. So you guys are automatically entered into the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Funko Pop, and they always release those Arrowverse bags with Supergirl, The Flash, Arrow, and Legends. If I can get a bunch of those on my hands, I will be giving those away as well. So anything related to DCTV that's very exciting that you can only get from Comic Con, I'll be giving away to you guys automatically so that is just my way of thanking you guys for helping me get there and i'm overwhelmed by the support that you guys have been giving me so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later goodbye